Hello everybody, Max Scoville here. I'm with Eric Goldman. We are not at New York Comic Con proper, but we are in New York for that in a hotel room because the show floor has closed. You just got back from the Marvel Netflix panel. Yeah. Uh, we just talked a little bit about uh, Iron Fist in a previous video, but uh, the big thing you're setting up for with all of these different superheroes in New York on Netflix is the Defenders. Yep. What do we know? Well, I will say this. Uh, they surprised everyone by bringing out all the Defenders. And again, this was advertised as an Iron Fist panel. And you thought they might have a couple surprise guests, but it, everyone was there. So after they kind of cleared the stage uh, at the very end, they brought out Finn Jones came out again, plays Iron Fist, and then Mike Coulter and Kristen Ritter and Charlie Cox. So the whole cast was there. And that was just a great moment, obviously, for fans to see these the four of them together for the first time because we haven't seen it on screen yet. Uh, everyone was going crazy, and then they had another announcement that they gave us, uh, which was the villain. Uh, Jeff Loeb talked it up a lot. He said, look, we, we needed someone formidable for these guys to fight, and he mentioned that it was, he said it's a female villain, and then he talked about how they got someone who's you know very acclaimed actress, beloved, uh, awards, nomina nominations, wins, and it was Sigourney Weaver. And uh, yeah, that was another time where the crowd freaking lost it. That's so cool. Uh, and of course, we don't really know who she's playing, though, do we? That is the big question that everyone, including us, will be speculating about is who is she playing? Because they didn't say anything about the character. They just said Sigourney Weaver's playing her, which is great on its own. Just what a great sort of get for this show. Uh, but yeah, as far as looking at Marvel lore and what character she could be playing, uh, there's a lot of questions. And I, we're all going to be uh, speculating left and right, I think, about that. Okay. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to touch on the fact that uh, obviously the Defenders have taken a lot of different forms yeah. through the years in the comics. Uh, in this case, they're all very street level, very grounded, these characters. Uh, and most of the, ca the series we've been seeing have been like, you know, very dark, like Daredevil's dark. Uh, Luke Cage is a little bit more, more playful. It seems like Iron Fist is kind of going that direction. Obviously, the idea of a bunch of crime fighters teaming up is kind of a silly concept. We're, yeah. we're sort of used to it. But do you think this is going to go more, kind of more the Avengers direction, or is it going to keep that kind of like grittiness? I think it'll be, you know, it, it'll be the Avengers, but but dialed down in sort of that light, fun nature because it is these shows. Like Daredevil by his nature, I mean, Daredevil and Jessica Jones especially, very, very dark shows, dark subject matter. Um, you can't ignore that, yeah, there's something when you put them all together in a room that's going to be, there's something a little more goofy and fun in a good way, guys. Um, love that stuff. So I don't think it'll be Daredevil level dark, but I won't, don't think it'll also be as light as Avengers. I think it'll be kind of a happy medium where they kind of account for the fact these characters are darker, but now we're going to go for a little more of a playful approach because we brought all four of them together. That's what I want. I want the banner. I want Power Man and Iron Fist. Uh, anyway, we've got uh, lots more New York Comic Con coverage right here. So... Stay tuned. Eric, thank you very much. Thanks,